Bear, this isn't any April Fool's joke, is it? Not at all, Casey. I believe they will be shoveling out here many areas on Tuesday morning, April 1st, as a huge storm gets organized. Heavy rain changing to heavy wet snow, potential for tree damage and power outages. Plow blades are being reattached everywhere, much to the delight of drivers. We're ready for it. We're Mentally? Pulling. Mentally, definitely. We're waiting all year for this. You can see behind me here, we had near whiteout conditions uh, in a lot of areas out here in the hills. The big dig out. <laughs> New Englanders cleaning up at this hour from one of the worst snowstorms in history. You can tell your grandchildren you survived the blizzard of 97. This New Hampshire newspaper said it all. Now, I know it's going to be repeated today, but this is a bad April Fool's joke. Uh, yeah, isn't it? <laughs> this has got to be the worst one going. Tomorrow, this New Hampshire golf course was set to open. Instead, golf carts are covered with snow, and the season opener will have to wait. Uh, these pictures we're showing you right now are from the south end of Boston and also from over by the Fenway and Kenmore Square. Lots of cars in the side streets uh, just completely covered. You can't tell it's a mound of snow and what is a car. People deciding, I guess, just to wait for the thaw rather than to dig their cars out. When it comes to assessing the severity of a snowstorm in New England, there's really only one reliable way to measure it. That means getting the final word from, you know, News 4's Shelby Scott. Shelby came out of retirement today to report on the blizzard and joins us live now from Worcester. Shelby, welcome back. Thank you, Liz. It was uh, one of those storms you just can't miss. You have to get out here. After doing it for 30 years, I couldn't miss this one anyway. But I'll tell you, I have a new best friend in Worcester. I want you to meet Mr. Digout. That's all people have been doing since about 10.30 this morning is digging out. But they did it with uh, pretty good humor. This is Mother Nature's work. Ain't nothing we can do about it. But just keep shoving and keep going. And that was it all over the area, trying to find a sidewalk or a driveway. The main roads were in pretty good shape by daylight, but in Hilly Worcester, the side streets were another matter. This is one of the worst ones we have right here. We're waiting for the backhoe to come down and so I can get up, and it doesn't help for other people who are trying to get up these hills to you know, before we can, and it slows the whole process down. Trying to shovel the moisture-laden white stuff was not easy. Right here in the driveway, so far we've been out here for four and a half hours. Too long for me. Uh, Kids getting a day off from school had some fun this sometimes yeah, at yeah, Dad's expense. How about you? This is, this is one of the best. <laughs> <laughs> And fill those bird feeders. Some of the spring flocks are already here, and they need our help until all this stuff melts. And as you can see, Route 9 behind me here is uh, really just wet now, as are most of the main roads in this area. But there's still a lot of side streets, especially the real hilly ones, that are tough going. So if people do have to go out in this area tonight, they really should still use a lot of caution. Sports with Bob Lobel. News for New England. Well, let's have some good news. It's opening day in a lot of major league cities, and it's a good thing Boston isn't one of them. That was a scene at Fenway Park today. The grounds crew started shoving out. They got plenty of time. The Sox start the season with an eight-game West Coast road trip beginning in Anaheim tomorrow night at 10. The Fenway opener is a week from Friday against the Mariners. We'll be ready. They'll be ready. We'll remember the blizzard of 97 for a long time, but was it a record? Well, not quite. Back in the blizzard of 78, some of us were digging out from under more than 40 inches of snow. And now the blizzard of 97, well, 30 plus inches in some parts. A lot of snow, but not a record. <laughs>